Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgam Ash, and I'm finally back to playing Miracle, a game made in Smile Game Builder. By Feverdev. Look at this beautiful rock. Look at its low poliness, its low res texture. I love this rock. Uh, anyway, back to the game. <gasps> no! I'll save you! Nyx? It's not actually Nyx. We're about to figure it out, though. We're about to get up. Oh, I got a copper rock! <gasps> I could have searched that other rock. What happens if I search these rocks? Nothing. Nothing. What happens if I search the rock I love? Nothing. Nothing. It's useless. Well, it just goes to show. Infatuation will only get you so far. There's something up here. What was it? A little stone box with a document inside of it. It's document one. That's right. Document one came after document two. All truth is independent in that sphere in which God has placed it to act for itself as all intelligence also. Otherwise, there is no existence. Whatever principle of intelligence we attain unto in this life, it will rise with us in the resurrection. And if a person gains more knowledge and intelligence in this life through his diligence and obedience than another, he will have so much the advantage in the world to come. Why did they put it in the box up here? <clears throat> or did they put it in a box and then place it up there? Why did they have to lug a box to the precipice? Whoa, whoa, God. Okay. Amalgamia, what are you doing here? I want to explore and uncover the secrets of my world. What? Aren't you worried about your safety? It's very dangerous in the mines. You were the one that was lying hurt on the ground when I came in here, Katie. Are you okay? Those stones did not fall onto you, right? They did not, right? Well, you know, a rock struck me on the head and made me pass out for a moment. I just need an obedience stone and I'll be fine. Katie, why are you down here? It doesn't matter. I'm going to go find an obedience stone. You may have suffered severe damage from that. It is in your interest to go with me and we will both find one together. What, with you? No way. If something else happens to you while finding the stone you need and there was nobody with you, you could die, Katie. I know! Are you prepared to die, Katie? Sheesh, why do you talk like that? You are okay with that? Am I not the only person who would offer to help you? Fine, just don't talk to me. And don't touch me. And don't look at me. And don't thy will be done. And don't breathe on me. And don't think of me. You know what? Aw. Oh, Aw. Oh, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. Yeah. Yeah, what are you gonna do? You are actually a lot taller than I am. I'm sorry. I will move on with my life. Let's go. Rock? No ore. No ore. <laughs> Copper rock. Well, I'm saying ore, but they're they're called copper rocks. There must be a distinction. <gasps> oh, they're everywhere. I cannot remember what I would be doing with them. I actually don't know what role ore plays or copper rocks, rather. Oh. God, I remember these trippy soundscapes. Trippy, trippy. This is the strangest mine pathway. I see you, cat. I'm here to gain your insight. Your philosophical wisdom. Scientist attempts to justify existence of life or form of order in spite of the thermodynamic principles by stating that it increased overall entropy. But how did that ordered system appear in the first place? How was that energy hump crossed? If you expand the second law of thermodynamics to its logical conclusion, then nothing should exist at all, as being itself is the simplest form of order. This law is just another emergent property of being. It all started with... Nothing. Nothing. 
What is it that the Lich says? Let me tell you a story. Before man, there was nothing. Before nothing, there were monsters. Here's your gold star. Hey, buddy, I know you. I'm too, oh, ugh. Already took all the copper rock from this. What about the pot? There's nothing in the pot. You again. Pigs can't look up. But I could pick a pig up one night and raise it into the sky and tilt this pig ever so gentle. I can make sure this pig's eyes line up with the stars. Imagine seeing the stars for the first time. I want to be treated that kindly and see the stars for the first time. It's ironic that you say that, cat. Because I don't think you could do that. I don't think you could lift the pig. I don't think you have the dexterous ability needed by one with the upper body strength and opposable thumbs to lift a pig. Oh no, we aren't supposed to be here. What is this dark gray structure? The simplicity disturbs me. There may be an obedient stone inside, but be careful, Amalgamia. I will be careful when I am dead. You can be careful when you pry it from my cold, dead hands. Actually, there was another area that I want to explore really fast. I don't want to leave it behind. Here we go. This way. Ah. Gah, it's wet. Yes, I find it pleasant. Discomfort is incredible in small amounts. You talk so weird. Sheesh. I adore how she talks. The thick rocks are covered in water. I'm going to collect all of these copper rocks so that I can make a copper music genre. Oh, that's all there is to that. Leave we shall. Back to the structure. Back to where that gentleman ran. Yes, my memory of all of this is so dim that there are just little bits and pieces that I can pick out, such as the cat's quote on tilting pigs up to look at the sky. But if there have been any other changes, I'm likely to not notice them. Did you see that tree? What is this, a shooting range? That is so entertaining. I love that. I don't remember this at all. What's here? Hey, hey, let me in, let me in. I'm here. I did. Fine. I really wanted in that room. Can I go anywhere else? Yeah, there are a couple of doors that are open. What is this strange thing? It looks almost like still water. No time to explain. Let's find the obedience stone, all right? I grabbed potato chips from the shelf. They are in some shiny metal bag, but the metal is so thin. How bizarre. Oh, I took everything. I think this machine will give me food if I put coins into it. A delicious sweet drink with a slight bitterness? Or the taste so salty it makes me shiver. I can only eat a few. I want coconut water. I will go ahead and buy myself some coconut water. What an oddity you could sell to the vending machine. Can you imagine putting stuff into the little slot in the vending machine? And then it just raises up to one of the shelves, an empty shelf if it's the first item of its kind, and it just slots itself in the frontmost position, and any repeating instances of it are pushed back by the by the spiral action, if it's one of those. And then um, you get coins, but instead of coming out of the slot, they slowly protrude from the place where you put them in, or perhaps a dollar. Zzz slides out. What else do we have going on here? We have a lot of carpeted floor. We have bench. We have Metatron. This place is strange. I don't... Oh. I don't actually want to advance the story. I want to explore. Press C and V to change field of view. Yes. Yes. 
if I go all the way out, we get fishbowl. If I go all the way in, does anything happen? No. No checks on my C and V. No people waving at me from beyond. All right, let's go, Katie. I've made you wait long enough. And you will continue to wait as I seek out more secrets. Hi, cat. I knew you were there. What need have I for proof? Evidence is belief. We are in the consiliensis age. Didn't everyone tell you? Garbage? So many things around here are made of some flimsy, shiny material. I do not know what it is, but it feels weird to touch. That's because it's covered in potato chip grease. Let me in your room! That's so frustrating. I'm sure it's intended to, which doesn't make it any better. Behold, is that an obedient stone? Katie, art thou with me? I, I, yeah, that's one. You look really, really pale, Katie. It's okay. We found the stone. Now, look away, Amalgamia. This isn't something I want you to see. Katie, is it not unlike a magical girl transformation, Katie? Where your clothes and body become of as of light, and your outline is... Ex Do as I say, Amalgamia. Thy will be done. We look away. Katie, what has happened? I cannot see. Ah, oh, I wanted to explore more. There were a couple of more rooms. Amalgamia! Hey, are you awake? Katie... What happened? Where is the gray building? What gray building? The one where we found the obedient stone to help you with your injury. I don't know what you're talking about. The big city inside the copper mind. Mine, we went there after you hit your head. Although, I think it is mined. We traveled in my copper mind. No, no, Amalgamia. That didn't happen. Okay? Okay. Thank you, Amalgamia. I'll see you around. How odd. I do not remember how we both got back here. My head hurts. I think I need a nap. We'll take a nap, but first... I knew it! We were there. Or I wouldn't have the potato chips, the coconut water, and the 14 copper rocks. Copper rocks. Can I go back into the mine? No. I think I could maybe go in there and not die. I'm interested. I'm interested in... What would I find if it's just me? If it's just me and I run to the office building... Oh, that's what it is. I probably tried this last time too. I'm having a vague memory of rocks blocking my path. Gosh, they're everywhere. Oh no, it looks like there was a big cave in. If I tried climbing over all of these, I'd probably get very hurt. You poor thing. You poor thing. All right, we won't try to climb over all of that stuff. We're just gonna go back home and lay down for a nap, I believe. It has never been this cloudy or dark before in my memory. Not even one time. The stars! I can't see the stars! I can't either. I cannot see the stars. <sighs> Tis a fire? What meanest it? Oh, I never did go over there. Not in the previous build. Not the first time I played. Because I couldn't. Well, not until the very end. Not until the end. <laughs> 